Beyond bizarre moments in court from the woman who is charged with the threat of terrorism at a mosque in Kentwood. Carrie Moss was arraigned today for threatening to blow up the mosque if they didn't give her cash. Last night, her mom told us that she's mentally ill. New tonight, video from court shows some of the signs. 24-hour news aide's Heather Walker was there. She joins us live now. Heather. Yes, yeah, Sue Moss's mother says that her daughter is ill and she doesn't belong here at the Kent County Jail. She needs to be in a hospital. I am so thankful to meet you. In fact, I pray for this day. I didn't know what would come. Moss's mother and a leader at the mosque met for the first time today. Both were in court when Moss was arraigned. Yes, it's a fraudulent charge. I will explain everything. Okay, so do you wish to have a preliminary examination? I am innocent. Uh, okay, that's not the question I asked. She appeared wearing a burqa headpiece. She had multiple outbursts complaining about conditions in the jail and discrimination. I would like to press charges and I would like them all to lose their guns and badges for a hate crime and mild torture against a woman in a burqa. She's running with the Muslim crutch and it's the eccentric part and the bad part of the Muslim faith. But she is not a devout Muslim. She has not read her um, Quran in months and she um, smokes. She's liberal. Her mother told us previously that her daughter has been diagnosed with bipolar and schizoaffective seven years ago. She tried to get her daughter committed to the hospital weeks before this incident, but she says the mental health system failed her because her daughter is an adult, so she has no rights. And we love her and we want her well. Years ago, she lost a daughter who was also diagnosed with bipolar. Now she's fighting to save her youngest from the same fate. And hopefully things will work out for her to get mental help and to keep her away from our facilities. She remains uh, jailed here tonight. The judge set a high bond. The family says they do not plan to bond her out. She will be back in court next week. Of course, we'll be there following all of it, bringing you those latest developments. Reporting live outside the Kent County Jail tonight, Heather Walker, 24-hour news site.